so much. Heading overseas now to Iran, where officials say, get this, they say they've cracked the code to American drone technology. They say they're making their own copy now after, of course, you might remember, a U.S. drone crash landed there late last year. Could be cause for major concern if, underscore if, it's true. But the Defense Secretary Leon Panetta has his doubts. Well, you know, it's a, obviously a classified program, and I don't want to get into the particulars of that program, uh, but I think I can, I can tell you based on my, my experience that uh, I would seriously question uh, their ability to do what they say they, they've done. More here from Pentagon correspondent Chris Lawrence. Just four months after it paraded this captured stealth drone before the world, Iran claims it has unlocked the secrets of the classified American UAV. The general who runs the Revolutionary Guard's Aerospace Division says Iran cracked the Sentinel software code and knows it flew over Osama bin Laden's compound and when and where it got maintenance. He says Iran is now building its own copy. But a top U.S. lawmaker told Fox News Sunday he's skeptical. I don't have confidence at this point that they're really able to make a copy of it. Aviation experts admit Iran has adapted other American technology, like the Hawk surface-to-air missile. It's designed to be fired from a ramp on the ground against an aircraft. And they actually adapted that um, uh, and put it on their Tomcat fighters. Bill Sweetman says the Sentinel has a grid over the engine that blocks radar waves and special coating to absorb radar. Designing a new one goes far beyond just duplicating its smooth edges. You have to know how every little piece of that aircraft um, contributes to its radar signature or to its infrared image or to any way in which it can be detected. At the same time it's boasting of one success, Iran is crying foul over another alleged cyber attack. The world's fourth largest oil producer says it has detected a virus in its main oil export terminal, which handles 90% of its oil exports. Officials say they have been forced to disconnect the oil ministry itself, and some data has already been affected. In fact, most of the world's oil facilities are run by computers, which just gives you an idea how important technology is in modern warfare. As for the drone, most of the experts that I spoke with say to develop this kind of drone, you need to know what you're doing and why you're doing it along every stage of production. You don't get that kind of knowledge overnight, and most of the experts say they don't see the evidence that Iran has invested the time to do so. John? Uh, but Chris, let's take this a bit further. Maybe Iran hasn't invested the time to do so, but Iran has conversations with countries like Russia, with countries like China. Uh, might they have the capability and certainly interest of trying to reverse engineer this? That is a key question, John, especially in terms of capability, because some of the experts I, I talk to say the concern over Russia, and especially China, may be a bit overblown. They don't see this particular drone as the end-all, be-all of U.S. stealth technology. In other words, they think the U.S. already has more advanced stealth capabilities out there, and they say China in particular, probably within its own research and work, has already matched or, or close to matching what this particular captured drone can do. Chris Lawrence, live for us tonight at the Pentagon. Chris, thanks so much. Yep. Coming up here, the truth about Mitt Romney's big-name GOP endorsements and his time on the trail just today with Senator Marco Rubio of Florida.